Oh, it's got a milkshake going on. <laughs> that is much larger, nine mil, something like that. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an intercooler. We got another bullet hole car, Mercedes. Driver's side again. Bio poop. I don't really want to open it, but I mean, how often are we gonna see this? I've seen some of the most destroyed, mysterious, shot up and flat out straight interesting cars touring some of the largest salvage car auto auctions near the city of Chicago. Bullet hole there, one right there a couple right there, and they just shot right back from here. Wow, that was close. It's obviously been wrecked. Oh yeah. A 2019 Audi Q7. That is a bullet hole. A Lamborghini Aventador. What are these things, like around $100,000? An all too familiar sight today. A bullet hole. We have another one on this door. We have another one. So this one is clean title and it's buy it now for $3,000. No way, is this thing boosted? No way. Guys, this is nuts. We got a 2020 X6. So we got a bullet there. We got a bigger bullet here. So not only do we have the best pizza in the country, but we have the most destroyed cars. I, I don't know if that's a good thing, but today, I have quite the list for you guys, a ton of good ones on here. So without further ado, let's take a look at this Viper that at first glance and in the auction pictures looks totally fine. It's probably not. This is listed as a burned car, but if you just look at all the pictures online, you can't really tell where exactly it's, it's burned. Everything looks pretty good, so I'm assuming they put this fire out quick. This could be a really good deal. It's a 2003 Viper, and uh, let's see what we got going on. A lot of times it's the interior, but it, it looked fine in the pictures. All right, so if it's not the exterior and it's not the interior, and you have a gaping hole <laughs> right here, it's probably an engine fire. All right, let's see what we got here. And kind of a theme today will be some Mopar action. I, I have never had a Dodge product before. And I've always wanted a Viper. Uh, I wouldn't mind a Hellcat. Where's the hood popper? All right, so I had to look this up. This is how you pop the hood on a Viper. That's kind of weird, but okay. What do we got? What do we got? Oh man, this isn't bad. Are you serious? What's going on? Just a little burn over there by the wipers? Possible fuel line issue here maybe caused this. I don't know, but the fuel line itself looks good. Oh, wait a minute. What? The transmission is like melted. This is really strange. What in the world is happening right here? That is the transmission and a lot of it is broken off. <laughs> I have never seen anything like this before. It doesn't look like it was on fire necessarily. The transmission's like basically not attached. This is very, very strange. What in the world? Okay, there's, there's part of the transmission case right here. Okay, the transmission essentially broke off of the back of the engine. The engine side seems fine, and I can feel the flywheel in there. That seems okay too, so something broke, caused a little mini fire, and that's all she wrote, folks. We have a Dodge Viper with a broken transmission and a little fire. Uh, if anyone knows what happened to this particular car, please email me at legit3cars at gmail.com. I'm very, very curious, so we're off to a good start. I'll just go ahead and put this chunk of transmission right here. Okay, nothing to see here, folks. We have a 488 Ferrari right here, and uh, it doesn't look too bad. It was in a side collision here, kind of a side swipe. This isn't bad at all, and it set off the airbag. Beautiful interior. This tire's popped, possible damage here to the rear suspension. Uh, this will definitely get fixed, though. This isn't really all that bad, provided the engine and all that stuff still works. And yeah. Wow, this is nice. One of these days I will own an Italian car. Don't know if it'll be a Ferrari, but something, something from the homeland. They're not messing around here at the auction. You can hear this fence buzzing. Yeah, not going anywhere near that. No, no Max. You see this every once in a while at the salvage car auction where there's a classic antique car that's just listed as mechanical damage. So this 56 T-Bird looks to be in pretty good shape. It's not perfect, but it's all there. And uh, yeah, it's listed as mechanical damage and it'll be sold here at Copart. And these can sometimes be a really good deal because it could just be that this car has been sitting for 10, 15 years and it needs some carburetor work or whatever. So pretty neat. This one is not on my list, 
Uh, it says damage type unknown, 21M5. Oh, that is hilarious. Wow, BMW guys. What are you doing? What are you doing in your car? Why am I in this car now? Kind of feels a little weird. Oh, we got vape pens. A lot of stereotypes going on right now, I guess. I mean, I've owned a bunch of BMWs myself, but uh, yeah, let's just see if this starts. I'm already in here, but no. Okay, let me get out now. Maybe disinfect my hands, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Maybe some funky stuff happened to it. We have a Porsche Cayenne. I think this was a theft recovery and vandalism. Uh, so you can see here, they were riding on the rim, potentially trying to escape the police or someone who was shooting at them. So we have a bullet hole on this guy. Ooh, this opens. Let's see where that ended up. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the exit wound and it was stopped by the weather stripping. That's some good quality Porsche weather stripping, stopping a bullet for you. And let's see, they opened this up, probably part of the investigation. All right, doesn't smell too bad. A little bit like smoke, but mostly like Thai food. I'm actually getting kind of hungry sitting in this Porsche, but luckily I have delicious food waiting for me at home from Factor. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal kit and they're shipped directly to your door, fresh and never frozen. Their selection is amazing and they have something delicious for everybody. I've been eyeballing this garlic and herb chicken breast meal. Look at this, 34 grams of protein. When I'm in a hurry, these things are so good. Forget about takeout or fast food. This is cheaper and easier. Just poke a few holes, slide it in the microwave. Two minutes, bam. I'm basically a chef now. Mm. It's chicken, cheesy rice, broccoli. We're getting our greens in. Mm. And what I love is Factor has options to fit a variety of lifestyles. So they have keto, calorie smart, vegan, vegetarian, protein plus, they got it all, guys. Factor also now owns HelloFresh, who also ships nutritious meals right to your door, and I love switching between brands. Now, the best part is, if you guys click on my link down below or go to factor75.com and use coupon code LEGIT50 at checkout, you're gonna get 50% off your first box. So check out my link down below. Take advantage of this deal, and with that, Let's see what we can discover in this Porsche. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that this was a very nice car before whatever happened, happened. It's an excellent, excellent condition. I really think this one was stolen, joy ridden, and then involved in a shootout. And for being a bullet hole car at a Chicagoland auction, I'm actually surprised I don't see any other bullet holes at all. That's honestly a first. This is a total loss Audi e-tron. It looks perfect. What? It says front end damage, total loss. That's another thing about these Chicago auctions. I think some of the cars we look at, it's some kind of scam insurance type of job. We're like, what is going on here? This is a beautiful, beautiful car. It's a little dirty over there, but yeah. I don't, I don't get it. This has 441 miles on it. This is a brand new car. What in the world? Oh, that is a very nice sound when you start up your car. Hold on a second. Yeah, this car is fine. There's nothing wrong with this thing. If you guys are looking for one of these, might want to bid on it. The most common theft recovery vandalism vehicles, the Jeep SRT8s, these Grand Cherokees. They love them. They love to steal them. 94,000 miles, let's see what she smells like. Ooh, yeah. Yes, your mood could definitely change just by sitting in here. Oh yeah. Yep, these things, they get they get stolen, they get joy ridden around, stripped, or in this case, they kind of just smashed up the front a little bit. Nice, sounds good. Oh yeah, this thing runs good. 94,000 miles, you can guarantee it's been beaten down more than any car could ever be beaten, but it runs good now, could be a good deal. We got a lot of Mopar products here, and I'm not gonna lie, I really do want a Dodge, I've never owned one, and this is it right here, look at this. This is a Hellcat Charger. I uh, I didn't have this on my list, so I don't even know what's wrong with it. Oh wow, this is it, it's obviously missing the front bumper, little damage to this cooler here, uh, but the frame looks good, everything is there. This was most likely stolen. This is the wide body version as well. This is it. I like this color. It's basically primer gray, as my buddy Rich would say, um, but wow. Look at this, they started stealing stuff from the interior. 
Cool. You know, we gotta try and start this thing. Let's check the oil. Yes, it's all still there. Oh, oh, it's got a milkshake going on. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna start this up. Uh, there's a chance maybe one of the coolers was damaged. Something like that? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're not gonna start it. All right, that's what we check. So this will be sold as a vandalism type of car. It looks good, but you, you still have to know you're gambling with these auction cars because if there is something wrong with the engine, that's a big expense. Although if a cooler failed and mixed a little bit, it doesn't necessarily mean the engine is toast right away. A lot of normal cars just have failing radiators and they mix the two, coolant and oil, you flush it out and you're good. But uh, something to keep in mind, there is a big gamble all the time with these. I really wanted to start it though. Oh, this was definitely stolen. They busted out the glass. Yep, it happens. Of course, we have the Caprice PPV driving us around and here are two more Grand Cherokee SRTs. So yeah, they just, they love to get stolen. That's for sure. I'm not the only one with a space van. Look at this. This is a Rivian powered Amazon delivery van. And what is wrong with this guy? I don't know. I don't know. Powered by Rivian. Wow. Yeah, that's a Rivian interior for sure. This is cool. If you guys have seen some of the Rivian pickup trucks that have been in minor collisions and then it's like $40,000 to fix it, this is probably similar. It was hit right there, a little bit up there. They backed into something. That's why it's at the auction. You gotta be kidding me. A little side scrape there. Come on now. Well, you hate to see this 97 Viper GTS front end collision. Uh, unfortunately, most all Vipers are, are wrecked and have a salvage or rebuilt title. I'm kidding, but it's gotta be one of the most wrecked cars out there, especially the earlier ones with like no traction control, nothing, and a ton of torque right off the line. These things were just, they were just wrecked and destroyed. Just, just like this. Surprised this one survived this long. I wrote down this. Oh, you gotta be on you. Hey, what's up little buddy? He's attracted to my super bright colored vest that matches my new legit streetcar shirt. We got a few colors coming in right now. They'll be adding to the site very soon. Oh, this bee loves me. Hey little buddy, auction bee. We might do a pre-sale, so I'll leave a link down below. We got a bunch of different colors. But anyway, this is a, a vandalism car and it looks okay in the pictures. Oh, no, 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 I remember this one now. They took the radio and the infotainment system out of it. Uh, there is a good chance here in Chicago, especially with these Mopars, these Dodge vehicles, uh, they get stolen and they get stripped out literally at chop shops. And this is probably what happened and then they caught them and recovered it. So this isn't that bad. I mean, new radio, new door panel, and you got yourself a Durango RT for probably 50% off. Once they get that salvage title, it just boop. All right, let's see, we're gonna check the oil first, see if it's got any. This one's got power, so we'll see if it starts. Oh yeah, we got oil, let's fire it up. Let's see if this thing will start. Okay. I'm gonna shut this one off. Got a little lifter tick maybe. All right, we found a bullet hole car that's a little bit more more typical. So this is a Hyundai Sonata, and I haven't seen this yet. Forensic Services Division, that is so cool. But man, look at this, this is a plastic bumper. That bullet did not go all the way through. Gun guys, is that a 22? It looks very small, could definitely be a 22, but then we move on. And I'm gonna go ahead and say there was definitely more than one gun. Look at this guy. That is much larger, I don't know, nine mil, something like that. These guys go all the way through. These little stickers are cool. I'm surprised we haven't seen the little forensic stickers before. Got another one here, another one here. And this one came in at an angle and it really shredded the metal there. And we got one more here. They're definitely shooting at the driver here. This is not a biohazard. Um, so don't worry, we shouldn't find anything bad in here. This Copark gets cars from all over the place, Indiana. Oh, and look at this. They stole this car. And what is going on here? We have a micro center usb stick i know that some thieves are using electronic means to steal newer cars especially hyundai's kia's and dodges um but i think in this case i think they're literally just using this to turn the ignition because yeah that's not reading anything in there that is hilarious that's very clever oh yeah look at that they're using it as a key essentially just something to grab onto so they ripped out the tumbler which would in turn have turned that and they just went right for it, USB stick style. Cool, they're pretty clever, that's for sure. Here's where one of the bullets came through the door and this bullet mangled up the little VIN identification sticker. Got another one that came in right there. Glass on the ground from bashing out this window. 
or shooting through the window. And then there's another bullet hole. Uh, the bullet hole went through the seat belt and the seat. Wow, this is so crazy. Good thing there was no one sitting there. The interior honestly is clean. This was definitely a normal car that was just stolen. It doesn't smell like anything in here. I haven't seen one of these in person yet, but it's a Mercedes EQS. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Could very well be dead. This is an electric vehicle. It was in a flood. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Okay. Whoa. Wait, this was in a flood? Wow, this does not look like it was ever in a flood. Like it doesn't smell like it was in a flood. This could have been one of those deals where they left a window open. When I worked at Mercedes as a dealer tech, that would happen sometimes. We would get flood cars in. It was just a window open, fresh water. We'd clean it up, clean out all the wires and stuff like that, some modules maybe, and, and that's it. Wow, this is so cool. I haven't been in one of these new ones. Let's see. Still got 188 miles of range left. I think these get like three something. Wow, this is cool. Wow. All right. It's got paddle shifters. Paddle shifters on an electric car. That's pretty weird. Oh. Okay, the paddle shifters I believe are for regen. That's kind of cool actually. It's a really cool car. This is really futuristic and awesome. I like it. Australians building this thing. <laughs> what a shame. Look at this guy. Oh man. Bad wreck here. Oh yeah, this is not good. At first I saw it from this angle. I'm like, this looks great. But yeah, it's destroyed. This was someone's baby. Too bad. We got another bullet hole car, Mercedes S550. Driver's side again. And hold on a second. We gotta see, uh, leaks oil. It doesn't say biohazard. They're usually really good at marking that, so we're not surprised. Because, yeah, this is, uh, that's definitely going after the driver right there. We had a light colored interior. Okay, it's just dirty. What a nice car. This generation S Class is beautiful. Wait, did these bullets not make it through the, the quality thick door of a Mercedes? I mean, it's like right here. Yeah, it's literally right here is where the bullet came in, and that looks like a pretty big one. Wow. Okay. Uh, I recommend you buy a Mercedes if you think you might be in a shootout. Car might leak oil and require a ton of repairs, but it protects you. This one definitely made it through the glass though. So not bulletproof glass and uh, really cool car. Look at this. These things are so comfortable. Beautiful interiors. Look at that. It's got like shocks. It's soft open. Beautiful car. This is a 2014, so nine years old. They've come down a lot in price, so phenomenal car for the money. Just make sure it doesn't have any bullet holes, I guess. All right, nothing really too exciting in here. And this one doesn't smell. It needs a little bit of a cleaning inside, um, but yeah, this will get sold. This is a decent car. If you fix the oil leaks, um, you know you don't need door panels because they're apparently made of kryptonite or Kevlar. You just need a couple of door skins and, and you're rocking a Benz, a former former bullet hole vents. Look at the size of this intercooler. This is the thickest intercooler I think I've ever seen. And it's on a uh, Ford Fiesta ST. Focus, is this a focus? I got a pink SD and beast. It's a beast. Oh yeah, this thing's modded. It's got the OBD plug. Going to the old Cobb tuner. All right, what do we got? Oh, okay. Painted this. Uh oh. Oh wow, it's really not. It doesn't even have a cold air intake on it. I was expecting more. It's not that modified. Is it truly a beast? I don't know. I know we're Mopar heavy here, but I really want a Mopar. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. So yeah, replaced VIN is the reason this is here. Yeah, this is definitely stolen. Yeah, oh, look at this. Oh, this guy tried. He even had the club in here. It's a shame, man. I really feel bad for the Mopar guys. They're all getting their cars stolen all the time. Yeah, look at this. They added this on here. Wow. This is another one of those cars that could be a great deal. Like if you don't care what the VIN says, in this case, it doesn't really say much where it normally has the VIN, but if you don't care about the branded title, this looks like a great car. This looks like it's something out of like a Terminator movie. What in the world? Oh my gosh, guys. 
This is brutal. I mean, there was no one in here. There's definitely no one in this side. Uh, I found a C5 Corvette and it looks very lifted in the front. Actually, it looks lifted in the back too. Uh, it's got an engine and it's got headers too. Ah, cool, it's a manual. Nice. This might start. Come on, baby. Um, I think it's out of fuel. It says low fuel. Yeah. Cranks, stick shift. Target top, sweet. I had a 99 and I loved it. Great bang for the buck. This thing has 148,000 miles, but it's an LS, so who cares? Wow, oh, look at this old Chevy Bel Air. Wow, this thing got mangled. No way. Ah, oh, Chicago gearheads. All right. Look at this, there's grass in the door and everything. We gotta see the engine on this guy. Look at the cluster, it's got a digital cluster. That's cool. You got a big old radiator. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an intercooler. Look at this. This has got an intercooler and a, it's got a, a rack and pinion steer. That's an LS oil pan. That's an LS oil pan. This is a boosted LS? No, it is not. No way. Come on. How do you open the hood on an old Bel Air? <laughs> That's what I want to know right now. Yes, no way. This is a big turbo LS. Get out of here. The belt's missing. Okay. Oh man, this is so cool. Look at this downpipe is nice. Look at the welds on here. Whoa. I wanna look this up and see the pictures online because if they don't show the engine, this could go for just normal, totally wrecked Bel Air money and then you get all of this. Oh, it's got a manual boost controller. This is so cool. This is a quality build. We have a precision wastegate right here. Turbo's in good shape. Wow, Chicago City sticker from 2014. Wow, I want this. All of this. This hurts my soul right here. Trans Am WS6. Uh, it's got the same color interior as mine too. Tan interior. This thing is wrecked. Let's see if it's modified. Nope. Yeah, it looks pretty stock to me. Wow. What a shame. These taillights are worth like a thousand bucks. Sorry, Trans Am. I feel like going to drive mine now just to, just to pay homage. So here's another wide body Hellcat charger in the same Nardo gray. And uh, this was a theft recovery and it looks pretty complete, but uh, yeah, you could tell from really far away that they did some body work on here and they did a horrible, horrible job. I mean, the paint is running. I mean, nothing lines up whatsoever. This is bad, um, but this is a run and drive. So we definitely have to start it. Oh yeah, these sound so good. Oh, I want one. I want one. This is such a cool daily driver. So we found out this was stolen out of Detroit. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty much stock in here unless it's been tuned. Oh wow, horrible job here on the paint. Uh, you can see a tape line. Oh man, look at that little cut there where they painted as well. It might've buckled a little bit, just bad. Bad overall craftsmanship here. We got some zip ties. Okay, whatever. But hey, if you want one of these cars at a massive discount and you don't care about little stuff like that, this could be the Hellcat for you. They even painted the rubber seal. Like, I don't get this. Man, how do you not bring a car like this to a decent body shop? You're gonna get your money back when you go to sell it. Someone looking at an expensive Hellcat like this is gonna see this and I, I would imagine it would devalue it a lot more than just paying a couple grand more to have good body work done. But I can definitely see why this thing was totaled. Subaru wagon and uh, yeah, much peace and love people, peace and love. Wow, did they total their own car? This is crazy, okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right, we have a Range Rover. 2014 and a funky color. This has got to be wrapped. Um, it says unknown for damage type and it could be a theft recovery. A lot of these Range Rovers get stolen as well. This guy is dead. This thing is nasty. Oh man, this thing is all molded up in here. This could be a biohazard possible flood car. Some of these are a little bit of both. It was stolen, wrecked, flooded, biohazard, all in that order usually. Um, but oh, here we go. It was wrecked for sure. This really isn't that bad. Oh yeah. 
That's bad, though. Ew. Ew, this thing is, it's coming to life. If this wasn't a biohazard, it's becoming a biohazard as we speak. So gross. Must have gotten some water in here. Look at this, mold everywhere. Yeah, this is the supercharged model as well. This is pretty much top of the line, except for the autobiography. I think that was one step up from this, but yeah, this is not good. Definitely needs a cleaning. This looks like a car dealership test drive accident. 5.0 Mustang, head on the inside of the windshield. So probably this, the salesperson, I would imagine. Oh man, it's got a cold air intake. Oh man, cool. I think these are the track pack seats. Oh yeah, the Recaro seats. Those are really nice, but wow, what a shame. It's got the big orange brakes. This is a pretty cool spec 5.0. I mean, it was. All right, we got a wrapped BMW. What is this thing? Oh, it's a 435, 2015. Oh yeah, this thing got mangled. And it looks like they cut this out. So the insurance will do this sometimes to see what's behind. Yeah, so they, they removed the whole rear bumper. Checked it out, it was too much, totaled it. That's all she wrote. Let's see, woo, yeah. They don't even bother putting anything back. This is totaled. What do we got in here? Oh yeah, lots of parts from the front end too. Got some M floor mats. Oh, and they just jammed the front bumper in there. I told you we see a lot of interesting cars here at the auctions around Chicago. Bio poop. This is definitely a uh, first time for me. I don't really want to open it, but I mean, how often are we going to see this? I don't know. Never? I don't know what DO stands for, but they might just be missing another DO for doo-doo. It's probably don't open. Yeah, we won't open it. We won't open it. Where's the poo? Yeah, it looks like someone was living in this guy. There's trash everywhere. And there's the back seat, so okay. Well guys, it looks like it might dump on us, so we're going to end this video in kind of a crappy way with the F poo 50. So if you haven't already, and if you've enjoyed this video, hit the big thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to stay tuned for the next video where we plunge into another project. All right, I'm done with the dad jokes that have to do with poo. I am a small child still at heart. Uh, most importantly, guys, have an awesome day. I'll see all of you in the next video. at some of the biggest um somethings yeah <laughs> touring some of the largest salvin 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 okay <laughs> that's something all right and it's a nice escalade escalady what's an escalade where is that i know but like the word did they just invent the word escalade where's the flash right in the middle where here oh, oh yeah yep. okay Ugh, okay, I'm burping. <laughs> if there was a stereotype. Don't you dare. What, it's a Subaru, hippie Subaru guy. I had, Look at this. I had the same. I know, but come on. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right.